Just a lot of practice, a lot of reps at the times that we do get the release out the backfield and catch the ball. I feel like over this past bye week and this week at practice, we've been kind of incorporating that into our game plan. And I feel like that the running back's been doing a good job of catching the ball and without route running. AJ, just what's the mood right now in the locker room? Obviously, a couple difficult games in a row, hard schedule coming up, the bye week. Uh, apparently some coaches missing. Just how are you all kind of getting through this at the moment? Uh, you know, it's just it's been a bad year so far, you know, with the uh, pandemic. But as far as you know, the coaches coaches dropping and the mood being in the locker room, we just trying to get things back on track, trying to get that win. Uh, you know, just trying to keep the focus on just this football season and getting better. You know, we th you know things gonna happen throughout the season with coaches and players dropping. We expected that, but as far as that, we just trying to stay focused and focus on Vanderbilt this week. AJ, to follow up on John's question, how much did you, how much do you think you guys needed a bye week, and how much do you feel like you guys got better over the bye week? I feel like the bye week was definitely needed. Uh, I feel like over this bye week, a lot of a lot of players got healthy. Uh, we've been getting a lot of rest and you know working our craft and just getting better throughout. We, we needed that week to get better and to focus in more. And I feel like we used that week to our full advantage and we're ready to go this weekend. Nick? With, with all the distractions, whether you know, physical injuries, COVID, the, the, the long SEC schedule, is it is it hard to get up for this, this last home stretch? And how do you how do you get the team up and engaged for this? Uh, it ain't hard to get up because, you know, this, this team loves football. We love playing this sport. This is what we come here for. So, I mean, this is our job. So as far as just getting up, we just we just want to get things back on track. We want to start winning. We know we got these last four games left, and we know what these games mean to us. So we're just trying to do everything that we can to get this thing going. You know, start start winning some more games. Josh, AJ, uh, you know, we get asked sometimes about the seniors, and, and, and you know, with the, this being kind of a free year of eligibility. And I know you being a graduator, or you're going to graduate here soon. I can't remember exactly, but is that something you've given any thought to about, or is that something that needs to wait to the end of the year, or, or are you kind of is this is this it for you? Uh, we talked. I talked about it with my family and with the team here, but we just fo most likely didn't focus on this year. We know that it's a thought, and, and that I can't. We can't come back to seniors this year. We're just trying to figure out what's going to what's going to happen this year and how we're going to finish out the season. And just let that play out when the time comes. But just how weird this year has been, and if you guys, you know, I mean, I know that everybody has to make their own individual decision, but would that be kind of cool if, like, a, a bunch of you guys, you know, did come back and try to, you know, kind of shoot for what you wanted to do this year, next year? Oh, definitely, definitely. I feel like, you know, with the with my class that's been with the seniors, we, we talked about it, and if if things don't go as as we wanted to this year, and we know what we could do next year, we all gonna talk and we gonna figure that out. I feel like it'd be pretty a pretty good thing next year, but. You know, we still got this year to worry about, and that's what we worried about right now. AJ, with, uh, with a couple of games already postponed in the SEC for this weekend, and, and luckily you guys have, have not had any games postponed to this point, how much do you guys keep a, an eye on that happening around the league, and, and does it motivate you guys to uh, be even more cautious with kind of places you're going and what you're doing? Uh, I mean, since we ain't had to deal with that yet, it just shows us that we, what we've been doing here is working, uh, that we ain't had that many positive tests and that our players here are, are staying safe and following the protocols to allow us to play this game we plan. Uh, so I feel like we're doing a great job here. And as we, if we keep doing that, we ain't got to worry about no postpones or we can just finish the season out as it comes. Hey, AJ, uh, you've had a really solid career here at UK, and I know if this is going to be your last year, uh, you want to finish strong. Definitely. What does that entail for you? What What does finishing strong mean to you? Uh, Well, I know I got, I got a couple. I got to go. It's the crack the top 10 rushing here. I know I got like probably like 200, 
20 more yards to get that. And if I, if I could accomplish that, that's finishing strong to me, uh, getting a couple wins here and, you know, just making the most of my, my career here. But like I said, we still got the advantage to come back next year. But as of right now, just I really want to crack the top 10 under the rushing here. Has um, the discompacted schedule? How has that changed approach to the season? Like, I mean, before we, you know, we had a couple of games to kind of get get comfortable. I mean, how much more urgency for you as a runner has has that added to the season? And how have you adjusted? Uh, I mean, with the compact schedule, it's just it, it is what it is. You know, we got ten SEC games. You couldn't really ask for nothing better. You know, this is the best league to play in, and you know, it just. Made my mindset is go out there and, and get it every game. Every game is a big game. You can't take no games off because, you know, every game is an SEC game. So I had that mentality coming in, and I'm still going to have that mentality with every game. Uh, I feel like that this is the best thing we could have asked for in this league. And, you know, it's rough, but we're doing what we could do right now.